Hi Harmonies, Victoria here. I hope you're feeling very much in tune today. And if not, I hope this next video helps soothe your senses. So today you'll see the third part of Jodie's core therapy treatment, where she has a lovely neck release, neck massage, and cranial balancing using Qigong. So please do like, comment, Please hit the bell so you never miss another premiere and buy me a coffee. That would be greatly appreciated to support the channel. I hope you're having a good week. What's going on with you? Please put a comment in. Let, let's have a chat and uh, let's spread a little healing. I wish you a wonderful week. Now settling down to treat Jodie's neck shoulders, the cranial bones around the head and all of this treatment is especially for correcting the vertebra, the seven main vertebra of the neck in order that that releases the flow of blood, which brings chi and energy. And that in turn will help supply better thinking, cognitive ability, far less occurrence of headaches, and brain fog, that feeling of congestion and lack of clarity with thinking and being able to make decisions. So you can see I'm using my fingers just to work out at the moment what the neck vertebra are telling me, whether any of them are stuck. And then I tilt Jodie's head backwards, how it should do. Not everyone's head does do this. But I've got my fingers in a straight line, all eight fingers together. Above the line of the vertebra, immediately below the occiput bone of the back of the skull. And this tilting of the neck at this point helps to unfix the top vertebra which is called cervical one which tends to get stuck on the occiput bone and that is a perfect alignment you see, my fingers, if anything, are tilting back towards Jodie's forehead. And it means that Jodie's head comes up and then tilts back. Absolutely perfect for a good neck and cranial alignment. Now looking at the right side of Jodie's neck mainly looking at the structure, the bones, the vertebra there. In checking each one out, making sure that each vertebra is soft and allowing movement when I apply a little pressure to each vertebra separately. And what should happen is that on applying a little pressure, the neck and head should bounce. There should be, like you can see right now, there should be a little movement in the head as I apply pressure separately to each vertebra. And now I'm 
working my thumb a little bit away from the main line of vertebra towards the spinal processes and by pressing on each process which can feel quite sore depending on if a vertebra feels stuck by applying pressure there the neck should or the head should bounce but also it it means that the vertebra will then release its grip because I'm applying pressure to its furthest point. And sometimes I can feel a huge difference from the start to the finish of one of these neck releases. And I keep coming back to the occipital release at the very top where the neck tilts backwards gently. Jodie loves a good neck release because it feels so releasing and relieving. The pressure, the weight of our head on our neck and shoulders is so immense, especially if our head at any point is tilted forwards. And of course she does a lot of couch work as a beauty therapist, looking down and leaning down to her clients. So this action has an immediate relieving effect by ensuring that the head is aligned again back on top of the neck and shoulders and not leaning forwards where the weight of the head is felt far greater by the neck and shoulders. It needs to be on top and not leaning forwards. And now pushing each shoulder point away from the head by holding the head forwards while bouncing the opposite side shoulder downwards. There should be a nice bounce here where the arm extends away from the head. And then I hold it for quite a few seconds in order that the shoulder releases. The wonderful thing about Qigong is that there are so many ways that it can be used, directed and applied. This is one of the first cranial ways that I use Qigong with most of my clients, everyone benefits from this incredible directed treatment. I have my fingers underneath Jodie's shoulders because when Jodie arrived she mentioned how her shoulders had been hurting. I have my thumbs just gently placed around the side of the neck and the palms are touching the neck to the back. The heat is starting to grow where I am, feeling what the neck and shoulders are telling me. I'm getting a sense that the right shoulder needs a little more TLC so I've managed to place my hands underneath quite a long way down under the right shoulder and a little higher up under the left. 
so my palm is basically touching the whole of the scapula on the right side, the shoulder blade. And I'm encouraging the scapula to let go and to descend in order that it doesn't tighten and therefore raise the muscles higher but that it lets go and actually lowers itself. You know that feeling when your shoulders feel quite high, they feel like they're coming up around your earlobes. Well, this treatment encourages them to let go and descend. The energy, the heat and the healing taking place just feels amazing. I really do feel like I benefit from every treatment I give as well as my client. Now this is a frontal bone float. The forehead cranial bone is called the frontal bone. And you can see I'm really enjoying these Qigong applications. I have my palm just very gently placed on the frontal bone. My fingers are hardly touching. And I have my other hand at the back of the head. So then when I first applied my two palms to the front and back of the head, I allow the head to move where it wants to go. And in this case, Jodie's head just wanted to tilt to the left. You can see Jodie's breathing has resumed a very comfortable level. My breathing normally tends to mirror my clients. Whenever I need to check that my breathing is in line, I just open my eyes and check their abdomen and nine times out of ten I notice that my breathing is exactly the same rhythm as my clients. And now you can see I'm not doing this at all but Jodie's head just gently and naturally turns the other way to the right. I have my hand behind and the other still gently on the forehead. The feeling of stress relief at this point is amazing. This is the main reason for giving this particular Qigong healing technique and that is for dispelling stress and head tension. We all know that when we are trying to think through a problem, whether we have a headache or whether we're feeling stressed, our hand tends to go to our forehead to naturally massage away the tension there. Our forehead does hold on to a lot of stress and this technique really helps to get rid of it. In fact, I've never known a situation where I've given this treatment and it hasn't worked. Everyone tunes into this. 
In fact, today I was treating a three-year-old little girl who's finding it difficult to sleep, worrying about things. And I know that she will benefit from that immensely. She completely relaxed and let the treatment happen, just as Jodie is now. Wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed watching Jodie's third part of her treatment. Thanks for subscribing and please do join me next week for the fourth part of Jodie's treatment and our little chat. Let's spread a little healing. <laughs>